Okay, so I just want you guys to guess how many FE215Bs it'll take to take on seven Black Princes. Before you see the rest of this vid, I just want you guys to put your guesses or you know in the comments or in your head, whatever. This was the first match of how one FE215B was against seven Black Princes. And here I'm thinking like, okay, here they come. These guys, I know I've gotta be careful. I've got a lower, weaker plate. Gotta to try to protect that. And they have a, a crazy high DPM. So if I can try to keep them just off for a bit, which is not happening here, they are smart. They're coming around the corner, just swarming me, which is exactly what they should be doing. I am just getting eaten alive. And at this moment, I'm starting to see a red arrow behind me. Now two arrows behind me. There is absolutely <laughs> no hope. The best way to define round one was oof. That was basically about it. I'm not even going to bore you with how uh, 2FE... Um, one five B's was. We'll just cut right to the chase here. Just going once we encountered, won't even go to the beginning just to kind of speed things up. I'm trying to just keep them at bay here. <laughs> once again, there's just so many of them. They just start pouring up over the hill. I'm trying to get my lower plate protected because that's what they're aiming for. I'm trying to get behind this rock. I miscalculate. I'm way off, trying way too focused on the enemy. And at this point, you cannot afford to miss a round. Every little bit counts. And just look at this. It's like, <laughs> like even the tier 10 versus, uh, versus its earlier tech tree version is just getting wasted just no hope couldn't even get that round out and my other poor friend here in the fe215b is just getting eaten alive so two having two fe215bs just didn't even come close so we went in upped it again to now three fe215bs and it gets a little interesting right around these next couple rounds and i'll go in and kind of tell you guys why in a bit but huge shout out to my subscribers if you guys want to help with my vids join my discord make sure you get the role uh it's movie crew and that way you can get notified when i'm putting a room together and join um and then uh yeah love to have all my subscribers help. I try to have, just because the rooms do get full, uh, to give everyone a turn. So I swap out, try to make it even and fair. I try cutting center here in this one, and it does give us some good advantage point. I'm able to get some side shots off, and honestly, my best way of using the FE215B is side scraping it is good for that because it does have a rear mounted turret for a heavy tank it does give you a little bit of that ability but if you're aiming a little bit too sharp <laughs> you you can get pen i mean these it doesn't take very much as you can see for these black pulses to just penetrate me and at this point, I am just thinking I am in a bad spot. <laughs> I am just like, oh shoot. They're pinned, I'm just completely pinned. I'm starting to just bleed hit points like crazy. This is where I'm like, team help. <laughs> I can't, at this point, I literally can't do anything. Honestly, great job for my subscribers. Um, everyone did good. I just honestly like to focus more on fun. That is why I play Blitz. I don't get mad. I don't care if we have high win rate, low win rate players. Everyone's welcome. We're all fellow tankers. Um, 
So great job by everyone. By no means was this very easy for those playing the FE2 on 5B. <laughs> Unfortunate way to go there, uh, getting caught on fire. So now we up it to four FE2 on 5Bs. We have shown that we got absolutely whooped doing one. Then we upped it to two and got absolutely whooped. And then three, we just get whooped. But this is where things get interesting. I just fast forwarded it here just a little bit just to get straight to the chase. Let's get some side shots. The thing about the FE215B that really gives it the advantage over the black, I mean, there's a lot of advantages. It's a tier 10 vehicle. But a huge one that I'm trying to utilize is its maneuverability. The Black Prince is pretty slow. Whereas the FE215B, even though being outnumbered, I'm trying to get to critical positions as fast as possible to really help us get the advantage, which is helping us a ton right here. And it's just amazing that narrow, just those thin plates, even though you have that break in between of where it's impenetrable, <laughs> you know, it's still quite easy to get those to miss that lower plate because it's just so thin. And the FE215B is fairly accurate. And there's even a few times I just keep missing that. I've got to really hone in and make sure I'm aiming. So here I'm gonna go ahead and push just some more. Enemy armor is destroyed. The Black Princes are down two. We haven't lost one of our FE215Bs. So things are going pretty good. This is where it just gets a little interesting. Because, and I'll go ahead and show you why. The Black Princes are just falling apart. But we did three FE215Bs versus seven Black Princes and got absolutely whooped. And then in this one, we did one more and then the Black Princes got absolutely whooped. So it made me think, okay, doing three versus seven has got to be possible. So we went ahead and tried three versus seven one more time to see if we could do it. So here we go. Once again, trying to use my maneuverability to get to critical, uh, very crucial positions right at the beginning, because that could put me in a good spot, put the enemy in a bad spot. So that's just what I'm trying to do here. Yes, please sub to Muffin. Oh, <laughs> just ah, trying to do that shot on the move just did not quite work out. Here I'm doing some side scraping. And I'm thinking I'm quite protected, but then realize I start getting pinned. <laughs> like, shoot, this is not supposed to be happening. And I realize I'm in a very bad spot. I don't want to be getting into a DPM war. So I try backing up and I'm like, go, go, go. <laughs> Just so slow. They're starting to flank us, so I need to try. And I've kind of forgotten. Just the gun depression on the FE215B can be good. I don't know. I, I feel like at times, like just on just slopes that aren't very steep, it can be good. Really struggling with it on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and push and move in here. OK. 
Okay. Now this is where the Black Princes start getting a little smart, because if they don't have a penetrating shot, they start using HE rounds. <laughs> Even though it's not a lot of damage, with their DPM, that can really add up. Even making them a bit more lethal, even if they don't have those shots. So I'm thinking, okay, so we just lost one of our FE 215Bs. They finally lost one of their Black Princes. I, at this point, start thinking like, okay, we have got to get in. <laughs> just start taking these guys out or we are not gonna be able to do this. And I just start face hugging because that's when I noticed they really struggled to penetrate me. And I did not anticipate there being another Black Prince in here. I get incredibly lucky. <laughs> Thank goodness that Black Prince was not any closer to me because I definitely would have been dead. Still have two FVs, and there's, oh, now just two Churchills, and I am super low on hit points, and it's, <laughs> this is where I just, I try to bear hug as much as I can, just because if I get anything, even if he ATs me in the right place, I'm just gone. And fortunately, we were able to do three. So it takes about three FV 215Bs to take on seven Black Princes, which is not easy. So anyway, this is the muffin here. Hope you guys enjoyed. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.